Today we're going to take a look at a magnetic field around a coil of wire. So this time we're going to look at the coil of wire carrying an electric current. So again we have our wire and we're going to connect it to a battery. But this time we're going to put a coil in the wire like this. So, first of all, which way is the conventional current flowing? Remember, conventional current flows towards the negative end of the battery. So, this would show the conventional current. We've got the wire, and then here, and that would show the direction of the conventional current. Now if we look at the magnetic field around this wire, we could see here using our right hand grip rule for field direction, we can see that this would be the direction of the field. If we go down the other side of the coil and we put in a field, magnetic field, we can see that the direction of the field is in that direction. So if you drew other fields we could say another one here so another one here Where the field leaves, we call that north, and where the field enters the coil, we call that south, just like in a normal magnet. Now, if we take more than one coil, so we take a number of coils, here we have them, And of course we connect a battery. Again the question is which way is the conventional current flowing? It always flows away from the positive end, so conventional current here. And if we go up the way, it goes up here. Down, down here, up here, down here, and so on. So we grip the coil in the direction of the conventional current with our right hand. So in other words, our, our fingers will be curled up like this. Curled over. And these are our fingers. And our thumb would then be pointing in that direction. Moving the hand like that. 
the thumb points towards the north. So we could say this would be the north end, and the other end, just like a magnet, would be the south. And as we know, we could then imagine the magnetic field leaves the this end of the coil that direction or like this it's a little bit confusing but this is also called the right hand grip rule and I add for determining the poles of a coil. As I said it's a little bit confusing but that is the name we give it. Thank you.